What's going on everybody? BMW Vic here at BMW of Bridgewater. Now, what I'm about to do is get into this gorgeous 2024 BMW i4 M50. And no, I'm not gonna talk about the amazing specs, the range, the horsepower, the torque, how well it does in the snow, rain, sleet, and even dry pavement. I'm not gonna go over any of that stuff, nor am I gonna talk about all the great safety features in this car. What I am gonna talk about is something that is on everyone's mind, and that is range. So I'm gonna show you a little trick on how to maximize your range by doing regenerative braking. Come on in. All right, so now that we're actually inside the car, I'm actually gonna show you how to get to it on the all new BMW iDrive 8.5. So first thing you wanna do is click on the four square here. This is for all of your apps. This is gonna pull up this screen that you see here with all of the apps and all of the shortcuts to get there. Now, one of the cool things too, is if you want to organize a certain way, you can press, hold, and then drag to wherever you want it. So you can actually set it up to exactly how you want. Now there are two ways to click on each of these icons. You can either use your touch, bam, or use the knob down here, the pad, and actually just click on it. So the easy thing, let me go back here real quick. So first thing you wanna do is like I said, arrange your icons where you want it to be, right? That'd be the easiest way so you're not fumbling through the menu, trying to find something, especially while driving, which I don't recommend. Try to do this before you go. But if you are driving and you wanna change it on the fly, super simple. Click on the four square, it's gonna give you this menu, click on drive settings. If you see that, it's highlighted. Click on driving settings. You have driver assistance, which is all of your lane departure warnings, your front braking, your blind spot, all of your safety features. You have your charging, which you can set up for fast charging or slow charging. I'll do another video on that to get really in depth with that. But what we're gonna focus on today is the drivetrain and chassis. So we're gonna click on this. Now, right up top, you're gonna see energy recovery in D. Why is this so important? This is so important because many of these electric vehicles do amazing in stop and go traffic. Why? Because of regenerative braking. So right now we're gonna click on this and we have low option, medium option, high option, and adaptive. Now in the adaptive setting, it really does adapt to your current driving. So let's go over all of these here. We're gonna start with low. Low, when you're driving and you release your foot off of the throttle, it's going to give you more of that traditional feel. When you let off the gas in a regular normal gas engine vehicle, you tend to coast, but you have the restriction of the gear and all that to slow you down slightly. So in the low setting, that's gonna be more of that traditional feel than what you're used to. Medium, once you let off the throttle, it is going to apply a little bit of brake. Now, it's just slightly more than low, but it's gonna give you a little bit more regenerative braking that can actually power the battery so you get longer lasting battery life. The high, well, you guessed it. This is basically BMW's one pedal driving. Will it come to a complete stop? No, but it'll come to a stop, almost to a stop, and kind of idle. That's one of the beautiful things about BMW. When you're driving in a BMW EV, a full electric vehicle, it's not like riding in a golf cart or a go-kart where it only goes if you give it throttle. This, once you put it into drive, you can coast and idle out of your parking spot, out of your driveway, which makes it very user-friendly and a much smoother experience to drive. The last thing you want is to be jerking all over the place. It's horrible. So if you like that one pedal driving, go into high. If you like that more traditional feel, keep it in low. So adaptive. If you are driving spiritedly or if you're just coasting down a highway, the adaptive setting really, it really works amazing by applying the right amount of regenerative braking to your driving style in that current moment. Really cool. Now I do want to show you one other thing underneath here. 
we have this iconic sounds. So what this does, you click that on, now we have the sounds of Hans Zimmer, the one and only. If you don't know who he is, look him up because he is an amazing composer, especially for all the movie scores, such as some really hot titles that I'm sure that you're bound to know. So this gives you the sensation of speed. In an all-electric car, it's so quiet, especially in a BMW, with the way they insulate everything. There's no road noise, there's no wind noise. You can actually have a conversation like this and still be heard, it's amazing. But I talk at this volume. So it gives you a really nice symphony of different sounds that give you a relative to your speed. It's, it's absolutely great so you don't kind of get all, all weary while driving. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I, I am going to be making some more videos on how to operate some of these new EVs. And of course, I'm going to keep it real and show you some M3s and M4s and definitely cool stuff like that. But check me out on BMW Vic on Instagram, YouTube, and definitely BMW of Bridgewater. We have some really, really cool content coming out that I can't wait to share with you guys. Give me a call, 908-437-8721. I'll talk to you soon.